Module 2, Lesson 3. Objective. Express metric capacity measurements in terms of a smaller unit. Model and solve addition and subtraction word problems involving metric capacity. So today we'll be focusing on metric capacity measurements. Vocabulary for the day. Everyone say milliliter, liter, convert, equivalent, mixed units. So the abbreviation for milliliters is lowercase m and then an uppercase L. And the abbreviation for liter is an uppercase L. One liter equals 1,000 milliliters. One liter equals 1,000 milliliters. An example of a liter is Mr. Seabolt's water bottle. I have one liter of water in here. An example of a milliliter is the medication you take. There is one millimeter of medication in here. 32 liters and 420 milliliters plus 13 liters and 585 milliliters. Remember, you can only add like units. So we can add our liters plus our liters and we can add our milliliters plus our milliliters. So when you stack your units together, it's much easier to add. So 32 liters plus 13 liters and then 420 milliliters plus 585 milliliters. So when we add these together, we will get a sum of 45 liters and 1,005 milliliters. And then we can convert or simplify this to 45 liters and 1 liter and 5 milliliters because there are 1,000 milliliters in 1 liter. And then we can add our 45 liters and our 1 liter together to get a final sum of 46 liters and 5 milliliters. Another way to do this is go ahead and convert our 32 liters into milliliters right away and our 13 liters into milliliters right away. If we do this, we'll end up with 32,420 milliliters and 13,585 milliliters. And then we add those two numbers together and we get a sum of 46,005 milliliters. And then if we simplify 46,005 milliliters, we will end up with 46 liters and 5 milliliters. Next, let's subtract 12 liters and 215 milliliters minus 8 liters and 600 milliliters. So what I would go ahead and do is convert our liters to milliliters, which would give me 12,215 milliliters, and this would give me 8,600 milliliters. And then set your problems up vertically, and you can see here's our 12,215, and here's our 8,600. And then we'll go through and subtract those and get a difference of... 3,615 milliliters. Now let's go ahead and simplify this. We know that 1,000 milliliters equals 1 liter, so we have a total of 3 liters and 615 milliliters.